Welcome to the Mont Saint-Quentin in Peronne. You are approximately 90 miles northeast from Paris. You are on the Avenue des Australiens, which means Australians Avenue, a name you will understand later. It's called Mont Saint-Quentin. Mont means hill, but we're less than 0.1 miles high. This kind of hill was a strategic place for the Germans during World War I, since it offered them a great point of view on the French positions located in the plains. The Australians, who were French allies, broke the German lines on August the 31st, and the battle lasted until September the 4th of 1918. This Australian offensive is considered as one of the biggest military achievements of the Battle of the Somme. It freed Peronne, which was under German occupation. Australian soldiers kept this position which previously belonged to the Germans. That's why if you turn your back on the road, you will face a monument commemorating the Australian 2nd Division. Because they fought here. This monument doesn't commemorate only to the offensive of August, but all the battles fought by the Australians from 1916 to 1918 in France and in Belgium. The exact name of the monument is the Australian 2nd Division Memorial. This ancient German and Australian position is now called Peron, partly built on the little hill. On the memorial, we can see on the left an engraving which represents Australian soldiers on the battlefield. On the right, still Australian soldiers who set up a cannon shortly before the Battle of August. The soldier statue you can see on the top of the monument is not the original one. Before, this one was... There was a sculpture by Charles Webb Gilbert, which was destroyed by the German army during the occupation in 1940. It represented an Australian soldier killing a German eagle with his bayonet. It had been inaugurated in 1928 by the General Foch. Nowadays, you can observe an Australian soldier in battle outfit since the Australians took the side of Mont Saint-Quentin back and rebuilt this magnificent soldier of 8 feet 2.